This is the brand new version 2 of the popular Range 3D scanner by Revopoint, which is designed for scanning large subjects, as you will see in this video. Stay tuned till the end, because I have an awesome coupon code for you if and when you decide to pick one up for yourself. Revopoint sent me this scanner for review, however, I'm not paid by them and I'm free to tell you my honest opinions. All the information about the different scan surfaces and the scanning and post-processing steps within the RevoScan software that I have just recently shown in my POP3 review also apply to the range too. So you should definitely check out the POP3 video linked in the card on screen and in the video description. Compared to the predecessor, version 2 not only looks much cooler, I think, it also has higher resolution 3D and color cameras, four built-in LED flashes to remove shadows, smarter tracking and three buttons directly on the device that we have already seen on the new POP3, which are for starting and pausing scans and adjusting exposure settings. We now also get USB-C and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. All the technical details and specs are of course on the Riverpoint homepage. The Range 2 comes in a very nice carrying case that also holds the tripod with extendable legs, the smartphone holder, USB cables, adapters, markers and other accessories. And this is extremely cool, a power bank handle to power the scanner on the go. It literally takes seconds to get a mobile scanning solution put together. Very nice. And by the way, this rechargeable battery grip is also perfect for mobile scans with the other 3D scanners. Thanks Revopoint for including this extremely useful component. First, of course, I tried to scan some things around the house. A chair, a chest of drawers, and this driftwood decoration thing, which I dropped into Blender to render this animation. I also quickly tested scanning the front and back of the Fiat 500. Luckily, the car was a bit dirty and the scan worked surprisingly well. Of course, the chrome and glass parts are tricky without treating the surfaces first. I have talked about this in the POP3 video. The sofa with blankets and pillows has the perfect surface for a hassle-free scan and a great result on the first try. I simply took the mobile setup I've shown you before and scanned directly to my S23 Ultra using the USB-C connection. All you have to do is keep an eye on the screen for the distance display and then go over all the surfaces from various angles. And that's it. I'm really happy with this one. Then I took this compact setup out into town. First, we went to a park to scan some statues and sculptures. Or so we thought, because sadly they were all covered for the winter. So we took a walk to a nearby church and scanned these stone sarcophagi. Sarcophaguses? These are not your typical 3D scanning objects, but rather large stone slabs that 3D structures have been carved out of to create a relief picture. Lighting in that room was abysmal, but the scans came out really good, even this color scan. Here I also scanned the vertical front plate, cause it looked cool. I really like these scans and they prove that a 3D scanner is a great tool to preserve important historical artifacts and possibly make them available to experience and enjoy online or 3D print miniatures of. Here are some blender renders for you. I used cycles for these and my granite material pack. Check crispy.zone. And if you still have one of these uh, red blue 3D glasses laying around, pause the video real quick and go grab them, cause here's also a neat stereoscopic render. I wanted to scan some other interesting pieces of art around where I live, but the weather was simply not cooperating for several days. So we decided to give another feature of the Range 2 a try, a full body scan. And I was lucky to quickly find a model for this, my wife. The scan result is really good, except for the face where one side is a bit off. After watching the camera footage, however, it became clear that my lighting setup was very uneven and I should have set the color camera exposure and color temperature manually. So this was mostly my own noob mistake. Well, practice makes perfect, they say. <laughs> However, I grabbed the POP3 and did a separate detail scan of the head and shoulders, knowing that I could merge the scans in RevoScan. This full body scan was perfect for 3D printing a little statuette. Stay tuned till the end of this video for some sweet 3D printing time-lapse footage. Here are my thoughts about the Range 2. 
In general, all of the scans turned out great and I was positively surprised by how good feature tracking worked with the range 2, even for darker surfaces. I haven't even done any marker tracking scans yet with the range 2, but the set includes a good size magic mat and a couple of sticky marker sheets as well. To learn more about marker tracking in general, watch my POP3 video. The 3D scanner models from Revopoint differ mainly in the size of objects you can scan. The mini series, which I don't have yet, is for small objects like keys, coins, jewelry. The POP series is for medium-sized subjects like faces, toys, shoes, with scan distances from 15 to 40 centimeters. The range series is for large objects with scan distances from 40 to 130 centimeters, while providing a single frame precision of up to 0.1 millimeters, which is kind of crazy. And as you have seen in this video, it is really possible to scan people, furniture, cars, and so on with great detail and precision. Scanning is quick and easy. The RevoScan software works beautifully and gets new features and updates regularly. The best thing about 3D scanning is when you first see a finished 3D model of something from your real world on the screen and you rotate the viewport around and admire all the details you captured just by waving this device around for a few seconds. Overall, many positive experiences and great results, as you can see. However, here's one important thing to know. The outdoors is generally too bright for the 3D scanner to work, even in the shade, which really shows how much light we get from the sun. If you need to scan something outdoors, wait until dusk, because these scanners are obviously designed and built for indoorsy conditions. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe and drop a comment down below. You can find some affiliate links to Revopoint scanners and accessories and a coupon code for a spectacular discount in the video description. Thanks to Revopoint for sending me the range 2 and thank you for watching the video. See you soon.